We'll base it. And have me. And then that's now. On this side. So John gets that's now, hooks my arm immediately with his right arm right here, grabs his collar, okay, frames my head, okay, tilts to the right so his left leg can come over the head. Left hand cups my tricep, pulls everything together, locks his feet. And now watch what he does with this near arm. He's gonna lean back and straighten it, straighten it, straighten it. Excellent, okay? This is the arm lock, all right? So now, uh, sit back up. Actually, let's go back to that spot. So now what happens is, is that as John's arm is coming through with the right hand first, okay? I need to be able to secure my arms because I assume John's probably gonna go for an arm lock, okay? Because I see this, this means he's gonna go for an arm lock, this means about a 99.9% .9 chance he's gonna go for an arm lock. So as we're here and John goes for the arm lock, okay? I'm securing my arms and I'm grabbing my own collar right here, okay? My elbow isn't just floating here, okay? I'm crunching so that now my Elbow is kind of part of my hip. John, try to pull the elbow right. back. Yeah, okay. nice and now I have to recognize the fact that I blocked him from crossing his feet, which creates a problem for him right here. Okay. So now what I can do immediately is the changed angle because I know that John's right arm is looped through and I'm keeping my right elbow to my right hip. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to swim under this. Leg, and I'm immediately gonna use that left hand that swims in order to secure my right hand. John's angle is completely changed. He doesn't really have an arm bar. <clears throat> now all I gotta do is pull my right elbow to the mat without letting him extend my arm, okay? Because here, John's got somewhat of a problem. He doesn't have enough leverage to pull my arm, especially if I do this right here. And here, I can scoot my hip away, and then I can come up this way, all right? Another way, John goes here. Yeah, he frames. Yeah, I don't wanna let him do that. Yes, right here. But even if he does that, I'm fine because I have my collar right here. John, He's gonna bring that leg over, and I'm gonna grab his pant leg right here, okay? And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bridge, and I'm gonna, what's called hitchhike. I'm gonna bridge, and I'm gonna go like this. Because now John loses the angle of the arm bar. Does that make sense? Just here. To me, so I have to correct him, so he has to let go. Huh? As your elbow is in here, okay, because you don't want to let him cross the feet. If he crosses the feet, like this, if he crosses the feet, your arms out, you don't want your hips this way because now he's got no base, okay, and no angle right here, all right, and from here. I can use my legs to be able to unhook and come up. But you see, just because Don was hooked doesn't mean you're completely dead. So the first one we're going to do, very common, it's called the hitchhiker. Hitchhiker is where your thumb rotates. So as you go here, okay, right, and he's slowly starting to extend it, you go here, and you roll over. I'm gonna pull out. See how his arm's stuck? His arm's stuck. You pull it out. Depending, kind of, and you roll over your shoulder. One more time. I wanna use this on lucky feet. Okay? My elbow is in. Okay? 
so I'm here. Because now I can control this before I even feed this here. Because now he can't really cross his feet. If he does, my arm can on swim that way, changes his angle. If this happens, he does not want his feet crossed, but you're threatened for a triangle. Yeah, so as I'm here, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna grab this foot right here, or maybe even on the knee, okay? And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look away I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go here. Okay. You're going to go under that leg because that will be the proper motion of his legs. So if you're here, you don't even have to get this leg. You can push, pull this out here. As I change and I rotate the wrist, as I start walking over here, I'm gonna walk over here. Pull this through. Careful. Yeah. Knee down. Uh, knee down or knee up. You're down. So watch. Down here. Okay. John is going to put his <coughs> hand this way here. Thumb down, and walk to the left, put your head out, put your knees, and now come up, pull your arm out. Oh, you did. You did. You just have to keep thinking twisting that arm out and bringing your elbow back. Because otherwise, you can get still stuck if you don't pull the arm out. The whole key is to pull your arm out. As I'm going here, So you have to do basically one of these. Get back over. You're gonna go here, and I want to go. him this way here this hand even goes on the inside of his knees right here because I don't want him just to pull this arm out but I can still twist it and go you just I didn't complete the movement okay so one more time and to do this you have to lift your hips run and roll over your left shoulder Hold that on, twist, 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 twist. When you pull the arm, uh -huh. twist it. Don't just do the okay. elbow get stuck. Twist it, okay? Because you want to make it challenging. Because the more you keep rotating this hand, the harder it is for the person to figure out which way to extend. Okay. One more time. Is as you're going to your knees. Yep. You're just gonna twist. This. So like right here. Okay. You're gonna turn your thumb this way. Yes, and then just walk to the left. Left, 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 left. Yes, and now head up, twist, and pull this through, and walk to your yes. This will see you like this. Yes, the whole time you're pulling it through. Why? This is arm lock. Whichever way you could get it, because just because you're on your side doesn't mean you can't get the arm lock still. You know, with the legs and all that. So you want to pull that arm out. Yes. You can still get arm lock if you don't pull it out fast enough, right? Sure. You can. Look. Down. If I'm here, okay, and I'm here, yeah, and he still does that, I can still mm -hmm. tilt, but he, yeah, right here. So now right here, he changed the angle here. Now it's like I can't untwist it, he's got my leg, and he keeps slithering his hip to the left, and now just pull to the right and pull the arm out. Yeah, that's just a slightly different way. The whole point, what I'm trying to tell you guys I feel that though, you're right. yeah, is this, but the concept is very simple. The arm lock is him 
trying to extend my arm over his hip. If I can bring my elbow to the mat, there's no arm lock, even here. Arm lock's gone. Does that make sense? So really that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to bring that elbow back through that hip line, okay? As I go, you're gonna keep running the hips. Look, running the hips. Because how would you finish this arm lock here, Jeff? I would try and come here. Maybe. But you see how he's completely out balance. And, that, and that's the problem with these arm locks, if you don't know how to properly finish them, is that you're gonna get these balance. So what we're gonna do on the first one, you're just gonna go in a circle, but the bottom person has to stay engaged. If you're gonna let your arm get limp, you're gonna get hurt, shoulder or elbow. So you have to keep this engaged. And the top person shouldn't be pulling, they should just be letting you kind of roll out, but you can't be a dead fish on the top either. You have to kind of give a little bit of a feedback. So, just doing a great job here. So look, I go here, and what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna walk my hip away, and I'm gonna go this way. Because now, which way would he finish? See how he tilted that way? And then you pull that arm out. But on this one, you're just gonna go to the left, pop your head up, and pretend you go to the left. And you just you're rolling to your knees. All you're gonna do, you're gonna go. Here, this right hand goes through. You can go to their leg. You feel half the leg go. You go here, and then go here. And then maybe I'll go here. And now, if I go here, yes, left, yes, head up, yes, yes. He grabs my arm, good. Just over, good. But don't do it that way. Do it just one out. Right back. Okay, let's go. One, two, three.